We welcome our viewers around the world. In this documentary, How Research and Development Spending Shapes the Future of Innovation. Innovation, driven by research and development, is essential for advancing humanity by solving global challenges, improving quality of life, and fostering economic growth. We explore global innovation such as AI, while also examining investment trends, workforce demands, and the factors driving technological advancements in regions like North America, Asia, and the European Union. If you have ever wondered why Africa lags behind in scientific advances, it is because of limited investment in research and development, weak intellectual property infrastructure, inadequate STEM education, and insufficient collaboration between academia and industry. Many African countries allocate a small percentage of GDP to R&D, resulting in fewer innovations and patent applications. Additionally, brain drain where talented researchers leave for better opportunities abroad further weakens scientific progress. Strengthening education, increasing funding, and fostering a culture of innovation are essential to closing the gap and advancing Africa's scientific and technological development. The learning objectives on your screen provide a comprehensive understanding of research and development, investment trends, and AI's growing role in innovation. It examines spending as a percentage of GDP, identifying key differences among countries, and how higher R&D investment correlates with technological advancements, economic growth, and scientific progress. Nations like Israel, South Korea, China and the U.S. lead in innovation, particularly in AI-driven advancements, with models like China's DeepSeek R1 reshaping global competition. The analysis explores country-specific R&D and AI strategies, highlighting both opportunities and barriers faced by low-investing nations and their impact on innovation, patents and economic development. Finally, it underscores the importance of policy and investment awareness, advocating for increased R&D and AI funding to enhance national progress, global competitiveness and sustainable technological growth. The OECD's Frascati Manual defines research and experimental development as creative work undertaken on a systemic basis in order to increase the stock of knowledge including knowledge of man, culture and society, and the use of this stock of knowledge to devise new applications. R&D covers basic research, applied research and experimental development. On your screen is a graph showing the investment on research and development as a percentage of GDP. Overall, the world spends 2.62% of GDP on research and development, out of a total GDP of $97.85 trillion based on 2021 data. As of 2023, the world GDP was approximately $107 trillion. In a few minutes, we will explore in depth gross domestic spending on research and development. We define this according to the OECD as the total expenditure, current and capital, on R&D in a country. Research and development comprise creative work undertaken on a systematic basis to increase the stock of knowledge and the use of this knowledge to devise new applications. This indicator includes R&D carried out by all resident companies, research institutes, university and government laboratories. It includes R&D funded from abroad but excludes domestic funds for R&D performed outside the domestic economy. This chart shows gross domestic spending on R&D as a percentage of GDP in 2021 across various countries. Israel leads with over 5%, followed by South Korea, 4-5%, and the US, Sweden, Belgium, Switzerland and Japan, above 3%. Germany, Finland, the UK, Iceland and Denmark invest between 2.5% and 3.5% aligning with the OECD average, approximately 
Mid-range spenders like France, Canada and Norway allocate 1.5 to 2.5%, while Greece, Poland, Spain and Turkey invest under 1.5%. Latvia, Chile and Costa Rica spend the least, under 1%. High R&D investment drives technological innovation, while lower spending countries risk lagging behind in scientific progress and economic competitiveness. On your screen is a graphical map depicting research and development spending as a share of GDP in 2022. The map is colour-coded, with darker shades indicating higher investment. It clearly highlights significant spending in the United States, the EU, notably Germany, Sweden, Austria, Switzerland and Belgium, and Asia, including Japan, South Korea and China. In contrast, R&D investment remains minimal in Africa and South America. On your screen are the currently publicly available research and development spending as a percentage of GDP in the United States and China as of 2021. The United States allocated 3.46% of its total GDP of approximately $24 trillion to research and development. China invested 2.43% of its total GDP of approximately $18 trillion. Data on GDP are from 2021. Venezuela, displayed on your screen, allocated 0.69% of its GDP to R&D in 2016 when data was last made publicly available. The total GDP was approximately $482 billion in 2014 when data were available publicly. On your screen is a map of researchers in research and development per million people in the United States. The y-axis is in thousands. There are approximately 4.4 million people engaged in research and development per million people. On your screen is a similar map for China. In China, there are 1687 people engaged in research and development per million people. In South Korea, there are 9,082 people engaged in research and development per million people. In Venezuela, in 2022, there were 352 researchers in R&D per million people. The population was approximately 28 million in 2022. In Nigeria, only 23 people per million were engaged in research and development as of 2019, a decline from 39 people per million in 2007. The population was approximately 218 million in 2022. On your screen is Nigeria's gross domestic expenditure on research and development as a share of GDP. In 2022, R&D spending accounted for 0.14% of Nigeria's GDP, remaining stable from the previous year. In absolute terms, the country invested approximately $1.6 billion in R&D in 2022. For a country with a population of approximately 218 million people, this is a very small amount of money allocated to research and development. It explains why Nigeria's leaders representing the most populous black country in the world and with a very bright, intelligent, educated and hard-working people has been unable to make any impact in leading or contributing to advancing research and development. The leadership of the country has failed to prioritise research and development for the good of its people or for humanity. A very sad situation. In South Africa, the number of researchers in research and development in 2020 were 473 per million people, out of a population of approximately 63 million people. On your screen is a colour-coded graphic representing the annual number of articles published in scientific and technical journals globally, 
Again, it is obvious that most of these publications are in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. Compared to these parts of the world, Africa has much fewer publications. Nigeria, the most populous black country in the world, lags severely behind. For example, Nigeria had 38 articles published in 2020 per million people. In the same year, South Africa had 270 articles published per million people. In other words, South Africa published at a rate seven times more than Nigeria, even though it has three times fewer population, 68 million in South Africa versus 218 million in Nigeria. On your screen is a graph highlighting the significant disparity in scientific and technical journal publications per million people in 2020. The United States led with 1,357 publications, followed by China, 470, South Africa, 270, and Nigeria, 38. Publishing research is essential for any nation's progress as it drives innovation, technological advancement, and societal development. China has experienced a sharp rise in patent applications since the early 2000s, surpassing the United States around 2019. In 2021, China recorded 1,001 patent applications per million people, the highest in the dataset the U.S. maintained a steady increase, peaking around 2015-2020 with 778 applications per million people in 2021, slightly trailing China. South Africa showed modest growth, reaching 30 applications per million people in 2021, while Nigeria registered an extremely low rate. This data reveals a significant innovation gap between leading economies like China and the U.S and emerging markets such as South Africa and Nigeria. China's rapid rise reflects substantial investment in research, development and intellectual property, while the US sustains a strong but slower growing patent system. Africa's low numbers emphasize the urgent need for greater investment in R&D and intellectual property infrastructure. Here are recommendations for Africa to increase patent applications and scientific publications. Number one, governments and private sectors should allocate more funding to R&D, creating incentives for innovation and commercialization. Establishing national innovation funds, providing tax incentives for research, and forming public-private partnerships can drive patent filings and scientific output. Number two, expanding STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics education, improving research facilities and fostering collaboration between universities and industries will enhance research quality. Providing grants for researchers and promoting knowledge exchange with international institutions can boost publications. Number three, Simplifying the patent process, raising awareness about intellectual property rights, and establishing innovation hubs and technology transfer offices can encourage inventors to protect and commercialize their ideas. Policies that support startups and entrepreneurship will further drive innovation and patent applications. Artificial intelligence is the next major frontier with the development of advanced, affordable and energy-efficient models that enhance automation, decision-making and efficiency across industries. China's rapid AI advancements, exemplified by DeepSeek R1, are reshaping the global market and challenging US dominance. DeepSeek R1 has demonstrated high performance despite limited resources, showcasing China's innovation. Countries must invest in AI to stay competitive, drive innovation and fuel economic growth, or risk falling behind in global trade, security and job creation. AI is also crucial for sustainability, smart infrastructure and national defence, making it essential for future resilience.
strategic investment in research, talent development and AI policy will ensure nations harness AI's full potential while addressing ethical and regulatory challenges. In summary, we have examined global research and development investment trends, emphasizing disparities in spending as a share of GDP. Countries like Israel, South Korea, China and the United States allocate substantial funds, fueling innovation and economic growth, whereas many African and Latin American nations lag behind, limiting their technological advancements. There is a direct correlation between R&D investment and scientific publications, patent applications and overall innovation output. We provide recommendations on the path forward. The learning objectives have been met. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This has been a presentation of Apomuliro Media LLC. By subscribing, you ensure you don't miss out on our future videos that delve into fascinating topics from around the world.